What does it mean to be truly wealthy? Is it simply having a large sum of money in your bank account, or is it something more? Let's dive into the concept of wealth and financial freedom. Wealth isn't just about stacks of cash. It's about the liberty to pursue what you love without the constant worry of finances. It's the ability to live comfortably and confidently, knowing that your needs are well taken care of. It's about achieving financial freedom, but how can you do that? First things first, understand your finances. Know where your money is coming from and where it's going. It's not just about the numbers in your bank account, but the story those numbers tell. Now you might be thinking, well, I earn a paycheck and I pay my bills. Isn't that enough? The answer is a resounding no. It's not enough to simply earn and spend. You need to understand the complete picture of your financial life. This includes your income, your expenses, your debts, your savings, and investments. Imagine your finances as a giant puzzle. Each piece represents a different part of your financial life. One piece might be your salary, another your mortgage, another your monthly groceries. When you start to keep track of these pieces, you begin to see the whole picture. And when you can see the whole picture, you can start making smarter decisions about your money. So how do you keep track of your finances? There are many ways to do this. Some people prefer to use budgeting apps, which can automatically track your income and expenses and give you a clear overview of your financial situation. Others prefer to keep a financial diary, noting down every single penny they earn and spend. The method you choose doesn't matter as much as the act of doing it. Now let's talk about living within your means. This doesn't mean you have to live a life of deprivation. Rather, it means finding a balance between what you earn and what you spend. It means making sure you're not spending more than you're earning. It means avoiding debt wherever possible. And most importantly, it means saving and investing for the future. Remember, wealth isn't about how much money you earn, it's about how much money you keep. And the first step to keeping more money is understanding your finances. So start today. Take a closer look at your income and expenses. Ask yourself, am I living within my means? Am I saving enough? Am I investing wisely? The answers to these questions will guide you on your path to financial freedom. Understanding your finances is the first step towards accumulating wealth. The next step is to start saving and investing. To navigate the financial seas towards wealth, it's crucial to understand the difference between saving and investing. Saving is like storing your money in a safe. It's your go-to for short-term goals or emergencies. It's secure, but it doesn't grow. On the other hand, investing is like planting a seed and watching it grow over time. It involves some risk, but provides the potential for higher returns in the long run. Now let's talk about the importance of having an emergency fund. Life can throw unexpected curveballs. Your car might break down, or you might have a sudden health issue. An emergency fund acts as a financial safety net, providing you with the peace of mind to handle these unexpected expenses without derailing your financial goals. Once you have an emergency fund in place, it's time to start investing. Investing is the real game changer on your journey to wealth. When you invest, you're putting your money to work for you. Over time, thanks to the magic of compound interest, your money grows exponentially. There are various types of investments you can consider. Stocks, for instance, are shares of a company. When the company does well, your investment grows. Bonds, on the other hand, are like loans you give to a company or government. In return, they pay you interest over a set period. Then there's real estate, where you can earn income through rent or appreciate the property's value over time. Each of these investment types comes with its own risk and reward balance. It's essential to do your research and perhaps even consult with a financial advisor to determine the best fit for your financial goals and risk tolerance. Remember, the goal isn't to get rich quick, but to accumulate wealth over time. The journey to wealth is a marathon, not a sprint. By saving for emergencies and investing wisely, you're setting yourself up for a financially secure future. Now, let's talk about diversifying your income. Diversifying your income, in a nutshell, is all about not putting all your eggs in one basket. It's the financial equivalent of spreading your wings far and wide. It's the art and science of creating multiple income streams, each one independent of the other, offering a buffer against uncertainties. So why diversify your income? Consider this. If you rely solely on your 9-to-5 job for income and for some reason that source dries up, you're left high and dry. But if you have multiple income streams, the loss of one is less devastating. You have other sources to fall back on. It's a safety net that insulates you from the shocks and surprises life often throws our way. Moreover, diversifying your income can accelerate your wealth accumulation. 
Each stream you add is another tributary feeding into your river of wealth, each one potentially increasing your financial inflow. So how can you diversify your income? One way is by starting a side business. It could be something you're passionate about like baking or graphic design, or a service you can provide like tutoring or consulting. Another way is through investment in rental properties. Real estate has long been a proven avenue for generating additional income. The rent you collect becomes another source of income, and over time, the property itself may appreciate in value, adding to your net worth. Freelancing is yet another option. With the gig economy booming, there's never been a better time to offer your skills on a freelance basis, whether you're a writer, a programmer, a designer, or a digital marketer. There's a world of opportunities out there. Remember, diversifying your income isn't about getting rich quick. It's about building a solid foundation for your financial future, one brick at a time. It's about creating a robust and resilient financial structure that withstands the winds of change and grows stronger with time. Diversifying your income can provide a safety net and accelerate your wealth accumulation. The fourth step to accumulating wealth is continual learning. So you've gotten your finances in order, started saving and investing, and even diversified your income. That's great, but the journey doesn't end there. The world of finance is ever-changing and staying on top of it is akin to navigating a rapidly flowing river. You need to constantly learn and adapt to keep your boat steady. Why is continual learning so vital? Well, consider the financial landscape. It's like a living, breathing entity always evolving. New investment opportunities arise, markets fluctuate, and economic policies change. If you're not keeping up, you risk missing out on important opportunities or making uninformed decisions that could negatively impact your wealth. So, how do you stay informed? There are a plethora of resources available. Books are a great start. They provide in-depth knowledge and insights into financial concepts and strategies. Podcasts offer up-to-date discussions on financial trends, and they're perfect for those who prefer to learn on the go. Online courses can help you dive deeper into specific topics and can be tailored to your own pace of learning. But learning isn't just about absorbing information, it's also about applying that knowledge effectively. This is where having a mentor or financial advisor comes in handy. They can offer personalized advice based on your unique financial situation and goals. They can help you navigate complex financial waters and make informed decisions. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you understand about the financial world, the more equipped you'll be to make savvy decisions that increase your wealth. It's not about predicting the future, but about understanding the present and making informed guesses about what's to come. So, keep reading, keep listening, keep learning. Take courses, seek advice, stay informed. It's a journey of constant growth and adaptation. And it's a journey well worth taking because, in the end, it's not just about the wealth you accumulate, but also the knowledge and wisdom you gain along the way. Never stop learning. The more you know, the better decisions you can make about your finances. So, to recap on how to accumulate wealth, the first step to building riches is understanding your finances. You must have a clear picture of what's coming in and what's going out. The goal is to have a positive flow where you're spending less than what you're earning. Understanding your finances is like holding a torch in a dark cave. It illuminates the path ahead and helps you avoid any financial pitfalls. The second step is saving and investing. Saving is about setting aside a portion of your earnings for future use. Investing, on the other hand, is about growing your wealth. It's like planting a seed and nurturing it to grow into a robust tree. With time and patience, your investments can provide you with a stable income stream. The third step is diversifying your income. It's risky to rely on a single source of income. Creating multiple income streams can provide financial security and open up new opportunities for wealth accumulation. Think of it as not putting all your eggs in one basket. The fourth and final step is continual learning. The world of finance is ever evolving and staying updated is crucial. By continually learning, you're equipping yourself with the knowledge to navigate the financial seas. Remember, wealth accumulation is a journey, not a destination. It takes time, patience, and discipline. But with the right mindset and approach, you can achieve financial freedom.